Hey everybody, it's Monday night all over again. My name is Donna Gray Banks and I am the founder and director of the Fresh Book Festival. And it is held in the beautiful city of Daytona Beach every year in February. This year, the dates are 22, 23, 24 February. Please come join us. Go to the website, www.freshbookfestivals.net. Kind of look around to get yourself acclimated to what we're doing. I know on the 22nd, we're going to have the fabulous San Denise Myers, who is a filmmaker. She is going to come to town and share her knowledge, show her featured films. It's going to be amazing on the 23rd. We're going, that's when the book festival starts. We're going to have children's books, adult books, romance, fiction, well, fresh fiction, uh, romance, erotica, spiritual and health. Everybody will be there. Uh, we try to take in all genres. And tonight, actually, I interviewed um, a fantasy author. Uh, yeah, I'm not really into fantasy that much, but she has convinced me that maybe this is a world I could jump into. And those of you who are fantasy fans, you know, Avatar and all that, uh, she's a really a prolific writer. Her name is uh, Brooklyn Quintana. And her first book is Nine of Swords. And the second book is Blood in the Water. So you can find her books on Amazon.com. It was really nice speaking with you tonight, uh, Brooklyn. Uh, gave us so much uh, information on fantasy. She also has her own uh, publishing company. It is called Morpheus Media LLC. If you are looking to have someone look at your manuscript, she is taking all genres, not just fantasy. She will give you a comprehensive um, reply as to you know whether she'll uh, take you in as a client. Maybe there's some things you need to do to your manuscript to improve it and then she'll take you in. So yeah, look her up, Morpheus Media, Morpheus, M-O-R-P-H-E-U-S Media, LLC. Uh, reach out to her. She is looking to build her uh, industry, her brand there at her new uh, publishing company. So just give her a shout. Uh, tell her that you heard it from uh, Fresh Book Festival. And um, yeah, it was a great, great, great interview. Things I didn't really understand about fantasy and how that all comes together. I think everybody has their niche, right? Um, and she seems to, she says it's going to be seven or eight books. So yeah, it's going to be a fantasy world for sure. And all of the, the um, names are more Nordic, Ireland, England type so um not sure how she pulls that all together but anyway her name is brooklyn quintana the books are nine of swords and blood in the water please uh reach out to her if you want her to look at your manuscript and, or get a copy of her book there on amazon.com and other platforms so let's talk about the fresh it is filling up it is filling up tony robinson will be there troy johnson uh, Angela Ransom Jones, Curtis Bunn, Janice F. Kearney, Keith Kareem Williams, Eula Shockman, Lee's Press, my new publisher, will be there with a table. Um, Sunshine Swenson, I'm so excited about her coming to Daytona. Robert Sessions, and of course, Jenny Nazak. She is just um, a partner, a collaborator. She has been with us many, many years. Thank you, Jenny, for uh, being a part of the Fresh Book Literacy family, where we believe that literacy is a legacy. Know that the rooms are going fast at Daytona One. Please go onto the website. If you're coming, make sure that you get your room. As I've stated many, many times, there's a, a jazz festival that weekend, and we want to make sure that our authors get in um, the rooms that we have scheduled uh, before all the jazz people take them all over. And you may want to ask uh, the people who answer the phone or however you do that, what is the particulars about the jazz festival? Um, and maybe I'll get more information on that. I'm not sure whether you have to have a package, 
but I'll get more information on the jazz festival because maybe that's something that you can do when the book festival is over. We're kind of done at six o'clock every night and there might be an opportunity to go to some jazz venues um, after the book festival is over. So we are in our 13th year. So excited about that. We um, are looking for a dance troupe. We'd like the, anybody in the area, you know, Daytona, DeLand, Jacksonville. We would like a young people's dance troupe to come join us this year. Uh, we're also going to bring a book to life. We haven't chosen it yet, but I'm sure we're going to find a children's book that's just right for us for us to bring to life at the festival. What else? Um, there are workshops. There are, of course, we Zoom in people from all over the world. Uh, David Simon will be with us from the National Black Book Festival. Uh, Pamela Hayes will be with us, I'm sure, if she has time uh, from the UK. And uh, so just make it part of your weekend. End of, end of February, uh, after NASCAR, after the Super Bowl, uh, it's a place to be um, to end what we celebrate as Black History Month. Uh, in the United States. So, and and listen, we all know the things that are going on with um, the books here and in other places, but what we, what we have to do is be steadfast in the belief that literacy is a legacy. Our parents fought for it. Our grandparents fought for it. Their parents fought for it. Let's not give up the fight for our history and the ability to read. I wanna mention that the city of Daytona Beach along with uh, tons of other partners, um, the Af uh, Federation of Teachers, I believe, and don't quote me, I'm not sure. Uh, we're gonna give away books at the Dickerson Center. Um, and it is, what day? I believe it is on, let me look really quickly. I guess I should have had this date ready. It is Saturday. Okay, so it's this Saturday the 7th at the Dickerson Center in Daytona Beach. They have about 20,000 books to give away. So they're not checking, you know, where you live. They're not really checking how you live. They just want to know that if you take the books that you will read them or you will take them to your place of worship so people can read them or you take it, you can take it to your place of um, where you have fun, where they can read them. As long as you take the books with you, knowing that we want people to participate in reading, and 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 in that same vein, uh, for the month of February, L. D. Robinson with Ladero Press does a read aloud day for every genre for the month of February. So if you want to reach out to her, uh, laderopress.com, if you want to be a part of the Read Aloud month, every day we read a different genre and she posts it on the internet. Um, and it's wonderful because what, what you don't understand is it's not really easy to read out loud. I mean, you can read to yourself. But when you have to read aloud to people on the uh, internet and be video, that that's just not easy to do. So, but if you think you're ready and you uh, can be a part of it, we would love to have you be a part of the 28 days of reading aloud um, in the month of February, 2024. Now I'm sitting here saying February, 2024, it's around the corner. Really, I cannot believe it. We are into October. We will be into the new year. I hope that everybody has had a prosperous year um, and that anything, anything, anything that has happened, that you have been able to go over that hurdle and um, pass it by you. We understand that people come here and leave here at any given time. And so, you know, put your arms around the people that you love because we never know the time or the, or the place that it will happen. But it's the Fresh Book Festival. It is in the beautiful city of Daytona Beach. And the festival is held at the Cherry Center in Midtown, 32114. Um, 
Commissioner Paula Reed uh, was the, the commissioner who kind of started this book festival with me and uh, it has just blossomed now, it's international. Uh, the whole city is involved, the mayor, the city manager, all the commissioners. And I am so grateful to everyone who has decided to make literacy important, to celebrate it, to understand how we need it in our lives, right? Put down your phone, turn off your TV, read to each other, read to your baby while you're having it in your womb. Oh, I just, you know, I can't say enough about how books will take you places that you will never go. I remember reading um, The Grapes of Wrath. Now, now that's not a book everybody's going to read because it's like that thick, right? But I thought, wow, it really showed you so much about history and the famine and the different, you know, people and how they developed. Um, it was the best of times. It was the worst of times. The Tale of Two Cities was, um, you know, all the greats, the classics that are behind me, Socrates. Don't forget those. Those were very um, poignant writings in their time. Uh, the Spook that Sat by the Door, right? Love, love, love that book. Um, if you have not read the autobiography of Malcolm X, please send me an email. I will make sure that you get a copy. It is a, a book about metamorphosis, changing your life. It is just so well-written and, uh, and it's the truth, right? So, if you would like a copy of uh, uh, the autobiography of Malcolm X, I will make sure that you get a copy. Just email me at freshbookfestivals at gmail.com. Okay, so just an update. Uh, tonight we uh, interviewed Brooklyn Quintana. She is a fantasy author. It is Nine of Swords and Blood in the Water. If you are a fantasy person, please look her up. Thank you to everyone who's decided to already come to the book festival. We're excited. Um, remember, this is early bird. So if you have not registered, please register now. And um, I think that's it. So we will see you next Monday uh, with another update on the festival. And if you need to contact me, as I said before, it's Fresh Book Festivals with an S at gmail.com. And if you'd like to go to the website, it's www dot freshbookfestivals.net and as always when the lights go out and the cell phone towers go down all you have left is a flashlight and a good book thank you for being here this evening